Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, again, I have my cameraman with me, so we're going to try doing it uh, this way from now on. We'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, basically what I've been doing all week. So I had the week off uh, since uh, my wife took a vacation, and I had to stay home with the kids, but I also got to work on my car. And so we uh, went ahead and grafted in uh, this OEM dash structure so that we can fit our OEM dash in there. Um, I had to redo the steering, so we'll show you some of the specifics there. And then um, I had to redo all the master cylinder locations um, for the clutch and for the brakes. And so a lot of that was uh, uh, pretty difficult to get it all to work properly and to have it in its proper place. Um, so we'll go over some of those challenges that we had to do and uh, talk about that. Uh, the other thing was is I had to move the shifter back three inches due to our OEM dash. When it goes in, the console that rides on here, that kind of Aventador console, the tail of it was interfering with the uh, gear shift. So if I want that good look, um, I did have to move it back a little bit. Now, a lot of people would say, well, that's going to be uncomfortable. But the fact of the matter is, is that I sat in it in the driver's position of this, where I would have the seat. And I actually went through the gears. And it's, it's, it's not ideal. I will say that. But it's also not bad. So it's going to be OK. Um, at least for now, we'll find out a lot more once we're driving the car around. So um, as you've seen in previous videos, we have the back of the car is all covered because it's all painted. We have done everything up to the door jam here. And we also have done the uh, door sills. And then the thresholds will be finishing those off once it warms up so that we can actually paint them. Um, and then we'll be installing those in here. And we're just going to keep moving forward. So the next thing is, is that we're going to do the doors. So we'll show you uh, the door structures and then the skins. And then um, I did a bunch of cutting and re-welding all of the suspension parts. So making sure everything was straight, square, um, and put everything back together the way we're going to want it. And the nice thing is, is that we, we get a really nice uh, steering, uh, nice and smooth across uh, lock to lock. And so that was really important. That was a real challenge, and we'll show you that here in a minute. So because the fact that the OEM Aventador um, steering column has such a low angle to it, um, we had to use uh, three of these universal joints. Two is uh, the most I... Uh, have ever used in uh, previous projects and I'm a little hesitant about doing three but I just didn't have any choice. Um, if you go down here you can see the steering rack um, so there's a universal joint there we had to cut out these uh, supporting structures and then rebox them in for strength. Um, so now if we move this you can see that it all moves nice and smooth and it doesn't bind or hit anything. So that took a lot of time uh, to do. And then also we had to move this master cylinder here and the, uh, for the brakes and then the clutch master cylinder as well. The other last thing that we did was we mounted, remounted the uh, AC uh, system over here. Um, so we're finalizing that to make sure that it fits under the dash nicely and doesn't interfere with the glove box. Um, Again, I restructured all of this down here um, and did the welding on it. And so basically, <laughs> I cut apart everything and then welded it all back together. So uh, now we have a nice stable uh, ground on which to start building uh, our suspension back up and all of our other uh, pieces. Now eventually down the road, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, you know, dress all of the welds and we're going to paint the frame. So that will come at a later time uh, after we get it on the road and make sure that everything's working properly. Okay, so the, the whole point of this 
other than the aesthetics of having that OEM dash in there, in here, is also having a comfortable cabin in which to sit in. Uh, when we had the real Aventador that Lamborghini so uh, graciously lent us for two weeks, I fell in love with uh, that actual um, interior. Uh, it was just really a beautiful interior. It was nicely appointed. It was just comfortable. Um, it was pretty amazing for a supercar because I've been in a, a number of different ones like the Huracan. The interior was, is, is, is still the same. It's really well appointed, but it's a little tight for uh, a normal sized person like me. Um, so I wanted it a little bit roomy in here. So we do have the uh, Audi steering column that telescopes in, out, and up and down. So we can still do that. So that uh, some of my taller friends and some of my shorter friends can actually drive the car. Steering wheel is nicely placed right in front of me, uh, right in the center. It's not angled at any funny uh, angle or anything like that. Um, the uh, pedals are in the right spot, so I got those all laid out perfectly for the gas, the brake, and the clutch. And then this is the bone of contention over here, which is the gear shifter, which if you have these big bolsters on your seats, which you kind of want in a supercar, you know, you, you're going to have a problem with your arm getting back here, but it's okay. I can still shift gears without it being a real pain in the butt. Um, yes, you'd probably want it more like in this area right here, but because of the way the dash comes down in that console, uh, it's going to interfere with the gear stick. So, so we moved it back about three inches, um, and I think it's going to be uh, just fine. So... I did lose my cup holder, so we'll have to make another amenity for that. <laughs> um, at any rate, uh, so that's where we're at. Um, we're going to be doing some uh, painting hopefully next weekend because the weather's supposed to warm up. I'm going to continue uh, finishing up the welding on the front end of the car. We're going to put in a new gas tank. Uh, so those of you who know, the gas tank exploded on me. Uh, luckily, I'm nice and safe. Uh, I was wearing... A lot of safety equipment and uh, thick clothes, clothing, thankfully, because it was uh, nice and cold out. Uh, and the tank blew at the seam, which uh, kept us from kept it from throwing out a bunch of shrapnel. So uh, that was really nice. So again, another reminder for you guys to uh, stay safe. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, hope you like the new format. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you next time.